Hello, I am Peter Tall, one of the four curators organizing the British Library's new exhibition, Writing, Making Your Mark. This tablet is an exceptional survival because it preserves us uh, a homework book from about 2,000 years ago in ancient Greek. What happens here is that the teacher puts two lines in very neat handwriting as a sample on the top of the tablet, which says you should not accept advice on, uh, except from someone wise, and the other line says you should only be you shouldn't believe all your friends and this is the sample the child the pupil was supposed and asked to copy out at home so the child tries their luck and uh, tries to write the first line but drops the first letter immediately this thing which reminds us our C is missing from the beginning of the line and then the child is trying the best to put the letters between the lines. Sometimes the pupil doesn't manage because some letters are hanging down from the line and the major mistake is committed at the end when the child runs over the margin and scratches the precious wooden frame of the tablet. The second line looks more or less alright, although some letters are still hanging down the lines and they are a bit shaky, they cannot be compared to the nice and neat handwriting of the teacher. So the child thinks they should do it again. So the second go, there is the same mistake here. The letter, the first letter C is missing again. The rest seems to be okay, although the letters are shaped a bit odd way. Uh, but the second line somehow manages to be too tight, too narrow, but the child is still trying their best, so the letters are squeezed between those very narrow lines, sometimes almost like in an illegible way, and when the child gets to the end of the line, the letters are clearly hanging. But it still shows that methods of teaching how to write stayed the same. Materials changed a lot. Nowadays in schools they use digital blackboards, whiteboards, but the very essence of how we teach children to write stayed the same. My children in school, they are still copying texts and samples, exactly what happened about 2000 years ago in Egypt.